Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Thank you for joining me for a shortcut tutorial. Today I'm just going to be experimenting and giving a tip on possibly how to prevent um, certain types of cardstock or paper to not crack when you're using 3D um, embossing folders or any kind of folders like that. Um, it is definitely not my original idea, however, I wanted to try it out so that you guys can see if it is an option for you. Hi to my subscribers, to those of you who drop by, ask questions, I truly appreciate you guys. Without you, I really would not be needing to sit here to get those videos done, however, I'm still happy to do so. So to get started, I have these two pieces. This is basically a satin paper. It's very light. And this is the vellum. Now, when you do the vellum, the tendency for it to crack or for you to get like saturated white, you know, whitish looking parts, if that makes sense, is there. So the idea is to find a tip that would enhance the image and give you a better look. So we're going to go ahead and try that out. So this is without any kind of trick, any tip, anything. So we're going to see what other options would work best. I'm going to do this actually um, without any special anything really, to be honest with you. Um, but let us try here a piece of paper towel. Just any paper towel, let's see. What I will do is I will actually try doing the uh, using the paper towel. You're on top of the vellum. Okay, and now this again, I have not tried before. I'm just trying to work this out. Now, what I found with my cuttle bug is that I cannot use the A, both B plates with the A plate. So I have to remove one of them. However, it's not enough pressure. So I still have to kind of add a couple pieces of something underneath. So let's try using the other ones that I had used to do the paper. So I just put those on the here just to see if that will give it a little pressure, extra pressure. The A plate and then I have the B plate. And that's another way if, you know, you cannot use your two plates, use like any kind of a shim or something that would allow you to give it a little more pressure. So this is how it came out. There was not enough pressure. So, you know, it, it all of the leaves and everything did not actually come out the way I wanted it. So I'm going to try it one more time. <clears throat> I'm just going to add a little more stuff. So you can use pieces of paper. If you have a shim, you can use that too. So I'm going to put this piece that I had before. So I would use this vellum here. Let's try using the same, like the, the silver and the, this, this together. So I get a little more pressure, which is good. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this one came out a whole lot better. So if you can see... The image came out really, really nice, and it has the in the, the depth and everything that is required. And of course, whichever you use as a backing is going to also come out with a really lovely background. So you actually ending up with a two for one for the vellum, just so that you don't have any cracks in there. Go ahead and try, you know, backing it. Either put it on the um cardstock on top of the vellum paper or below and see which one works best. But for this one, even if it is as light as the regular copy paper, it really did not do badly at all. But um, here is one of those papers that I had used to back uh, this vellum paper. One of those actually. Um, it came out a lot better, but I still found it was, you know, it could have been better. But then again, you still have two really nice designs. You can color this one with, you know, um, oxide inks or anything to boost it or use it as it is. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you guys next week. Bye.